quality shots, quality shooting, make sure we're making crisp passes, make sure we're, like, we're focused on what we're supposed to do. All right? It's getting that game time mode. You understand? Okay, let's go get out there and get over There's no secret that we're here. There's no secret why we're here. We're supposed to be here. We don't know why we put in the most work. We work the hardest, you know. We train the hardest, we practice the hardest, we believe the most, okay? We got the most faith. We're supposed to be here. I'm Lauren Plant, back for the Division I boys basketball finale. Two top 10 teams in the state meeting on the floor, number seven, Grand Blank, and our number two team, Ann Arbor Huron. Bobcats searching for its first state title. Same goes for Huron, although the River Rats danced in the title till back in 2011. Grand Blank came in 14 and two, only losses to number one Orchard Lake St. Mary's and number 19 Flint Carmen Ainsworth. Bobcats avenged that loss to St. Mary's in the quarters. Early action, the 6'4 senior Andre Ridley collects in hands to the super sophomore RJ Taylor who hits from beyond the arc. River Rats, a perfect 20 and 0 coming in, knocked off De La Salle to advance to the championship. The senior point guard Devin Womack drives to the cup for two. The River Rats can hurt you in a variety of ways. Tyson Edmondson with a great no-look drive and dish to Kingsley Perkins. Unquestionably one of the leading candidates for Mr. Basketball next year, Grand Blank's Ty Rogers is a man among boys. He lets it fly from behind the long line, score knotted up at a dozen after one. The four-star recruit Ty Rogers showing off his passing prowess as well. Taylor, another triple. Riverat's strength is they have depth. Womack with the stutter step and serving up the six-man senior Jack Den Howder who delivers. Graham Blank responds. Taylor with the nice lob pass inside to the 6'3 sophomore Tamonte Boyd. The slick put away. He came off the bench to contribute 12 points and seven boards. River Rats rely on their men inside to do the dirty work when necessary. Brandon Rawls, shot won't go. Perkins with the putback and the foul. Score stayed level at 24 aside into the break. Third quarter time and the Lake Superior State signee Womack staying hot as he eyes a long jumper. He led here on with 18 points. Now the Bobcats were Class B runners up in 1952. That's how long the Grand Blank faithful had waited for another shot at the state hardware. Boyd to the basket inside. Time ticking away before the final frame in the 6-4 Rogers with offers from the likes of Florida State and Houston. Ty had nine points, seven rebounds, three assists, and three steals. Huron only up one, 30-29. Rats looking to extend their lead. Rejection by Perkins in transition. Julian Lewis finds the speedy Womack once again. River Rats by two. Back and forth we went. Taylor maneuvering to Josh Recksteiner for a clutch tray. Bobcats back in the lead. Graham Blank finished the game on a 10-2 run. Huron with the desperation attempt, but the Rock will find its way to Amante Allen Johnson who delivers the dagger. Graham Blank ran the gauntlet in the final week and wind up with their first state championship. Final score, 45 to 36. It feels amazing, man. It's an um, unreal feeling just to be able to bring this to the community and, like you said, to the school, hanging them banners up. Um, Grand Blank wasn't really known as a basketball community. Um, it was a real big golf and football, so um, just changing that changing that around is big for us. I'm just so proud. I mean, it just shout out to everyone last year on the team that we had the same goal, but it got cut short. I've been staying in constant contact with all the seniors last year, and uh, we're just doing it for them, doing it for the people that couldn't do it in the past and that fell short in the past, we did it for them. It means everything to us in, in this community for us to kind of, uh, to, for us to be able to, to uh, create some history and create a legacy for the community of Grand Blaine is just a blessing. Um, our guys put in a lot of work and uh, it paid off for us. It paid off for them. So, uh, and I, I'm just very proud for them.